This is my full guide on how to fix DeamVR error 309. There are a couple of different solutions and try them all and try not to skip any steps. The first thing of course is ensure all of the cables are properly connected. You want to disconnect all of the cables from your VR headset including HDMI, USB and power and inspect each cable individually for signs of damage or wear and reconnect all the cables and replace some cables if necessary. Um, cable issues are probably by far the biggest reason why people have errors connecting VR to their PC. So make sure this isn't the problem. The next thing you want to try is try using different USB ports on your PC. Some USB ports are better than others. They are not all created equal. On my PC, I have a new desktop and some USB ports are 3.0 and some are not. The ones that are not will not run with Steam VR. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. Okay, let's get into some fixes. First of all, you want to restart Steam VR and your PC, of course, give it a try to see if it works. You also, of course, want to update your graphics drivers. You want to go to NVIDIA app drivers and update, uh, update your graphics drivers. Okay, after you've done that, you want to check for Steam VR updates. So you want to open Steam, go to your library, search for Steam VR, right click on it, go to properties, go to updates and say, immediately download updates and check if there are any updates for steam vr by the way while you're here you might want to uh, participate in the beta so older versions of the beta uh, if this is a software related issue this may or may not fix your issue depending on what headset you have and depending on what your issue might be um, this probably causes more issues than it solves if this isn't the problem but might as well give it a try to see if that actually fixes your issue. While you're here, you might as well go into installed files on the left hand side and you want to click on verify integrity of tool files. This will solve the issues if the problem is related to corruption of files within the software. Okay, now let's go into Steam VR and change a couple of different things. So launch the game. The first thing that we want to do within Steam VR is to remove all Steam VR USB devices. So click on the three little lines right here. Scroll down until you see developer. From here on the top, very top, you're going to see developer settings. Click on that. Scroll down and click on remove all Steam VR USB devices. So you want to click on this and what you want to do is unplug your VR headset, wait for about 30 seconds and then plug it back in and then wait for uh, Windows to automatically install the drivers for this to see and see if that fixes the issue. By the way, while you're here, you also want to scroll up and they have what's called direct display mode. You want to enable direct display mode. What is direct display mode? So this makes it makes uh, Steam VR understand that this is an input for Steam VR and not an external monitor. So this will solve a lot of issues. Okay, you've done those two things. Now give it a try and see if it works. If it doesn't work, move on to the next issue. So close Steam VR. Next issue is next solution is to uh, uninstall it and reinstall it to see if that fixes it, of course. Now, after you've done that, you want to make sure that your computer is up to date for its BIOS. So you want to find any updates for your BIOS and install them. Um, why does this matter? Well, your BIOS controls your USB ports. If your BIOS is old, if your computer is old, uh, your USB uh, drivers might not be up to date and they will simply not run VR or they're not a court to run VR. And many people's BIOSes are not, uh, do not update automatically. That's something you need to do by hand. Also, you want to restart your PC, enter your BIOS, usually by F2, delete or F12. Look for any USB settings, particularly those related to USB 3.0 or legacy USB support and adjust the settings if necessary. 
and you likely want to disable USB legacy support and give it a try and see if that works. So save and exit BIOS and then try reconnecting it. Okay, the next step is to go into firewall settings and make sure that Windows is not stopping this through or not letting this through the firewall. So go into settings on from search. On the left hand side, you will see network and internet. From here, you're gonna see whatever internet you're currently using. Yes, I used 1,940 gigabytes in the last 30 days. So I'm currently connected to ethernet. From you, it might be a Wi-Fi. Um, by the way, if you are using Wi-Fi, I would recommend using ethernet for um, any kind of VR. It's going to really uh, make things uh, more complicated um, if you're not using an ethernet cable. So click on whatever internet you are currently connected to. So click on this and by default, it's gonna say public network recommended. Now you want to switch this to private network, yes. And then after you've done that, you want to exit this, save this, exit this, and try reconnecting to see if that fixes anything. The next step is to go into device manager and make sure that your USB device is up to date. Um, depending on whatever uh, type of headset that you have connected, um, it might come up under human interface devices. It might come up as something else depending on the device, but you want to find the VR headset here. Once it's connected to your PC, you want to right click on it and click on update driver to see if that fixes it. The next step is uh, if you're using a link box or a similar device, disconnect your VR headset from it and directly connect your VR to your PC using HDMI and USB cables to see if that fixes the issue. Okay, on the bottom, you're gonna see the file explorer here. And here is a file path, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Steam VR, bin, and in bin, you're gonna see Win32 and Win64. Now you want to click on Win64 if you're on Windows 64, of course. And if you're on Windows 32-bit, click on Windows 32-bit, great. Now click on Windows 64. And here you want to scroll down until you see an application called vrserver.exe. Now, once you find this, you want to right click on this, go to properties. Here, uh, click on the compatibility tab. And you're gonna see something called compatibility mode run, and you want to click on run this program in compatibility mode. Now, don't worry if you're not on Windows 8 or Windows 7. Um, you still want to give this a try to see if this fixes your issue. Okay, now the final step, uh, go into, see the start menu here, type in MS Control. For here, you're gonna see a tab called services. And from here, you see a, a button called hide all Microsoft services. You want to click on this and click on disable all. Now go to the startup tab. Go to task manager, startup apps. And you want to disable all of the items uh, that are not necessary. And then restart your computer and try to run Steam VR and see if it works. If it does work, and you have fixed your issue, congratulations. Please leave this video a like and please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And if it didn't work, please leave the video a comment and I will do my best to get back to you.